Hello everybody, Lumaniac here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful bracelet. And, um, I did mess up a little bit right here the first time I made it, so ignore that. Um, I know how to do it now, so I promise that won't happen. <laughs> but, um, it is super pretty and it's very unique, and it is called the Loreen Bracelet. I'm sure I said that wrong, so I apologize for that, but this is how it's spelled, so some of you might know how to pronounce that, hopefully. And it's designed by at Polly underscore looms on Instagram. And she has an amazing account. Um, her color choices are always stunning. So you can definitely um, check out her account and um, see some amazing looming posts on there. And this is her original design. And it is made on three looms and they will need to be set up in this configuration. So you can set your loom up in that way and we will get started. So the first step is going to be to place our perimeter. And for the perimeter, you're first going to want to lay two bands just right here on that first pin. Just lay them loosely. So that's going to help us secure the bracelet at the end. Now from the center peg, you'll go off to the left and out to the right. And I'm actually going to zoom in just a bit. It's kind of too far away. There we go. And then we'll go to the left at an angle twice. To the right at an angle twice. And then we're just going to do single chain straight up until we get to the third pin from the top. So the third pin from the top, and then we'll go into the center. And place one across the horizontal here. And now go straight up on the right, same way. And the bracelet I'm wearing today is the Stairway to Heaven bracelet. Um, you might notice it in a lot of my videos recently because I've been recording like four all in a row and I haven't changed bracelets, so. But it's by Rainbow Limb Enthusiast. And then we place one into the center. So now we're going to be placing um, kind of arrow bands, which are the red ones that I used in this bracelet. And for this one, I'm going to be using uh, Jelly Yellow. So you're going to start on this first pin on the third row, and you'll go up to the second pin in the middle row. Now I'll do the same thing on the right to meet up with it. And then you'll go up to this next pin, and you're just going to be placing um, arrows kind of parallel to that that you just placed. like so. And now the next step is going to be to place zigzags going up the sides. And I will be using opaque white from Rainbow Loom. And I hope it'll stand out enough. I think it should be okay. Okay. So you'll start on this first pin here. Up to the right. Oh yeah, that stands out good. Better than I expected since it's a white background. Just continue placing those all the way up your loom. You want to kind of push those down as you go, just like so. And the same thing on the right.
So now we have our zigzags placed. And next we're going to be placing X's, which are the pink that I used here. And I will be using the same color that I used for my perimeter. So I'll bring those closer here. There we go. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start placing these um, kind of slanted X's. And it's going to be the long band first. So you're going to start in this pin here. And you're going to stretch it up to the second pin on the second row. And now you'll do kind of a short cross to make it an X. And you'll do the long one and then the short one. So you always um, place that long band of the X first. Whoa, I grabbed way too many there. <laughs> oh, a little work. Usually makes it quicker if I can grab like multiple at a time, but sometimes they get tangled and it just ends up slowing it down actually. And a short cross. And that's all for that side. And I'll do the same thing on the right. So make sure you start with the long cross and you go from this pin up to the second pin on the last second to last row. Just do that same thing. And again, make sure that you're placing your long one first. band got twisted with my uh, zigzag there a little bit. It does help to push those down if I didn't already mention that. Okay. And now the last step of placing bands is just to place a single chain going straight down the center here. And I'll be using my white again. So you'll start in this first pin and just place a single chain going straight forward up the loom. Just like that. And now you want to place a cap band at the end, so take your perimeter color, make a cap band there, and stretch it over that last middle pin. So now you can spin your loom around, and we're ready to begin looping. So the first step is going to be to loop up this um, single chain straight forward. So just continue to bring it back to itself. until you get to the top. And now we're going to pull out these arrow bands back to themselves. So go into the cap band, grab the top one, and pull it back to itself. Grab the top one, pull it back to itself. Go to the next pin up, pull them back, and they do tend to get a little bit twisted depending on the band you're using, so you can kind of run your hook along there and it should untwist a little bit. Okay, so now notice if we started looping these X's, there's still a band underneath, and so it would completely fall apart because you wouldn't be catching that band. So we're going to be doing a um, the looming roach stitch. Um, it's inspired by her. I don't know what the technical name for it is, but um, you're going to go into this pin from the outside. You're going to grab that bottom band. You can kind of grab it from the side here, and you're going to flip it over the top. And then again, go into here and grab that bottom yellow band. Bring it over and flip it over the top of your pin. Grab the bottom one, 
So it's going to be a lot easier than if, if you try to go under here, it's kind of hard to get. So just grab it from the side here, kind of closer to the single chain. You can flip it over very easily. Oops. And make sure that it gets flipped over. If one accidentally kind of, you think it got flipped, but it didn't, um, but it didn't, and it slips off, then your whole bracelet's going to fall apart. Or at least that arrow will. <laughs> now same thing on the other side. Just grab it from in front of the pin. And that does make your X's look a little bit funny, but don't worry about that. We're still going to loop them the same way. Just like that. And now I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see the next step more clear. Too far. Okay, there we go. <laughs> So now we're going to be looping out the X's, and um, first you're going to want to loop this perimeter over until we get to here. So just until we get to that band there. Push out the cap band, loop it over until we get to here. So that's going to create kind of a cap band for this long um, loop we're going to uh, loop over in a second. But first we're going to loop over the short part of the X first. So we always do that part first. So push back these bands and grab that short one and pull it back to itself. And on this pin there's only one, but on the next ones there will be two, so you have to be careful of that. And now go into here, grab that um, long band and bring it back to itself. Go up here, you have to push back two bands, one that should be your arrow color and one that's your X color. Loop it and then loop the long one. And the mistake I made in this first bracelet that made it kind of, um, where is it, uh, right here, that made that kind of come undone is whenever I was looping over this short one, I accidentally grabbed both bands, which made, which means that I grabbed the long one and the short one, so then it came undone, so be careful not to make that same mistake as me. Sometimes those bands want to stick together, the two arrow bands, because they're kind of um, smushed together since you looped over that bottom arrow band. So you have to be careful of that. Just like that, and now I'll show you a couple of um, couple of X's on the right side, and then I'll go off screen. So first, you just grab that band, the short one first, pull it over. Now grab the long one, bring it back to itself. And now there's two bands that are your X bands. So make sure you grab the bottom, and pull it over, and more. Grab that bottom band, and then grab the long one. So you're going to continue doing that all the way up your loom. I'm going to go off screen and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I now have the X's looped all the way to the top and this is what it should look like. And if it does, then you're ready for the next step. And that is going to be to just loop out these um, triangle parts here because there's two meeting up. It kind of forms a triangle here. And you're going to loop them out from the second pin and from the second to last pin. So go up to the third, uh, third pin on the second row. And grab the top one and loop it out to itself. Grab the next one and loop it out. And we're just simply going up the loom, looping them out from top to bottom. Now the other side, same thing. Just pull them back from top to bottom, back to themselves.
like so. And now the final step of looping is simply to loop out our perimeter. And we already have it looped to here. So now we'll just grab that last band, bring it to the left, and same thing on the right. And now we'll just loop it straight forward. Let's push back all those bands and grab the bottom one and bring it back to itself. It does kind of help to push down the um, zigzag band so that you have room to place your band you're looping over. But so now you loop it into the middle and then loop this last one horizontally, like so. And now we'll do the same thing on the right. Loop it straight forward. horizontally and now we're ready to kind of close off our bracelet and so what you're going to want to do is hold out these two bands with just a little bit of tension on them push back all of the bands on top of those make sure you grab them all and then you're going to grab those two bands from the bottom pull them up and bring them together on your hook and now if you only made it um, if you didn't make a full wrap then you're going to want to add an extension so the way I do that is I keep it um, here on my hook, I pull a band, I put a band on the hook and pull it through, and then place it back on. Put another band, pull it through, place it back on, and you can do as many links as you want, um, and I honestly don't wear them if they're just the short ones, I kind of just look at them when they're pretty, so that's, it's kind of sad, but that's what I do with most of my bracelets, I just look at them because they're fun to make, and I look at them, but, oh, I just bought my tripod, sorry, but, um, if you do wear them without being a full wrap, then that is how you will do it. And you'll do as many links as you need. And then you're going to carefully remove it one pin at a time with your hook. So I am going to go off screen to do that to save some time. And I will be back in just a moment with my finished bracelet. So here is the finished bracelet. And I really love it. It's really it's a really thin bracelet. Um, and it looks cool in the middle. It, um... I don't know, it's just, it's looped really unique, so it looks super cool. Um, I really love this bracelet, so I hope you guys do too. And remember, it is designed by at Polly underscore looms on Instagram. And that is how it is pronounced. <laughs> I don't know, well, that's how it's spelled. I mean, I don't know how it's pronounced, um, so I won't even try because I know I'll completely butcher the name. But, um, so if you make her rendition, please make sure to post it on Instagram and tag both me at Lumaniac and um, also tag at Polly underscore looms on Instagram because we both would love to see the renditions and also post it to hashtag Lorraine bracelet so that we can see all the renditions in one place. And you can also subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.